Is it, are we live? It says live. This is what happens the first time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm Steven. <laughs> this is... Juan. Juan. We're, we're here at Corker Comics Miami on 107th and 8th Street in Miami. Uh, for free comic day, we got two locations. One down in Pember Pines, or up in Pember Pines, and one down in Miami. Exciting day. Every day, the first Saturday of the month in May, we do free comics at all comic stores across the nation, unless, unless they're bad comic stores, right? Yes. Which we're not going to talk about them right now, right? Want to? No, I don't. Let's talk about them. I don't want to talk about the bad stores. Anyways, so yes, it, it is, it, it is, are you serious? <laughs> Anyways, while he's, while, while, he, while he's on the phone, just, uh, this is our episode 001 of our web series that we're going to be launching on our uh, YouTube channel soon, and uh, it's going to be talking about anything and everything you can talk about, Nerdy Geeky, we might even get a little political with it, it is totally explicit, we say bad words, we talk about things that are inappropriate, we apologize up front to you if you get offended, if you do get offended easily, we suggest you close your ears or close your browser, whatever works for you, right Juan? Yes. Absolutely. Um, so like I said, it is a free comic day for everyone. And I uh, want to give a couple shout-outs real quick to some people that have helped. Um, uh, Florida Supercon, uh, they're, they're uh, the South Florida convention of conventions to go to for geekdom. Uh, they set up a little location at our Pember Pine store today. Uh, so shout-out to them. They also give us some passes, which I'm sure we will not give out and we'll take keep for ourselves. Yes. So we can go to the show for free. Thank you, Florida Supercon. Um, and then uh, on top of that, um, shout out to uh, local artist Greg Kirk Kirkpatrick, uh, who came here to our Miami store. And uh, he he's actually here right now. Greg, Greg, are you available? Couple seconds. For a couple, come on over, Greg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, oh, oh you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get up. You're, here, here. Okay. It, it's done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Juan, Juan's great at this. Anyways, uh, Greg, how you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm gonna give you Juan's mic. Here we go. Maybe you can, yeah, dude, just feel free to speak into it. So, Greg, tell us, tell us about you. Um, I'm a local artist, uh, been in Miami about 19 years, grew up in Kansas City, um, done some comic book stuff in the past, some work for Savage Dragon, some image stuff, uh, mostly smaller press, and now I spend most of my time, my extra time doing conventions, commissions for people, drawing superheroes. Okay, so besides being at Corker Comics Miami today to see you, where can people see you next? Uh, next, I'll be at MegaCon in Orlando at the end of the month over Memorial Day weekend. And it's Memorial Day weekend, MegaCon. You can catch Greg there, and he's here with us all day long. And Greg, if people want to, do you have a website or some social media channel where people come can, can follow you? Yeah, um, if you look up my name on any of the uh, social, uh, social media websites, I'm on all of them. Okay, that's Greg Kirkpatrick with a K, K like Corka. That's Greg Kirkpatrick, K I R K. P A T R I C K, right? That's perfect. Kirk, like Captain Kirk, Patrick, like Patrick Stewart. That's 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 a coincidence right there. Is it? Or not, maybe. <laughs> anyway, Greg, thank you so much. Greg is here with us all day long. Be sure you guys come see him. Go to his social media channels. And when you, if you go to Make a Con, check out Greg per Kirkpatrick at the booth. Oh, anyways, so we are here for Free Comic Day. So let's talk about some free comics. Right? Oh, real quick, one, our unofficial sponsor, Jimmy John's, uh, who serves us food down the... They don't... I mean, we pay for it, so... So, whatever. But Jimmy John's, it's good. Fiji water, you know. If you guys want to sponsor us for real, please, you know, hit us up. We would love that sponsor to us. Let's talk about the comics, though. So, anyways, we have a... 2000 AD is the first comic that they're giving away today, and... I just know it's Judge Dredd, right? Yeah, he's the law. He, but, I mean, but what else? I mean, th does anybody here know anything about 2000 AD? Is it a good book or is it shit? Like, really, seriously. Is Judge Dredd, he's the law. I mean... He kills people. I, but aside from that... Who we'll just obey the law? Okay, well, 2000 AD, ladies and gentlemen, great, yeah. Um, Animal Jam, I don't, I don't know anything about this book, but I know, th I know the kids today have been, like, wanting this book, like, hardcore. Do you know, you got kids, do you know about this? There's bunnies. There, there are bunnies. <laughs> Is this like is this a TV show or what is this? I have no idea. I don't know. And it's by Dynamite Comics. Dynamite Comics, who you know, one of our publishers, great guys, Dynamite. We have no clue what Animal Jam is. We didn't get a chance to read it. We apologize. Um, Attack on Titan. 
This is good, right? Big, no? Um, they're like big giant people. Big people. It's actually a really good anime. It's a good comic. Second season's out now. Yeah, the first episode of season two came out. I thought it was a video game. No, no. no. See, that's, that's an anime. Wow. Very bloody. Very bloody anime. Yeah, it's, it's about these things eat people, and then there's people with jetpacks. People with jetpacks, giant people, anime. It's really good. It's by Kodan, Kodan, Kodansha Comics. Did I say that right? I ain't even going to try. Try it. Kodansha. 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 Attack on Titan. Okay. Don't watch the movie? Movie's bad? It's one of those last airbender things? Okay, great. Um, James Cameron's Avatar, the the series that that Disney invested a lot of money in that everyone doesn't care about, apparently? Yeah, it's, uh, this is um, James Cameron's attempt to be Elrond Hubbard and create a fake religion. <laughs> <laughs> I I, <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was just Fern Gully Live. Right, they work yeah. in trees and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, Avatar. You know, we're still waiting on the sequels to Avatar. But Disney has a theme park that they invested millions of dollars in, and like, I mean, it's the top-selling movie ever. But at the same time, who, who cares? Like, can you can anyone here name a, the, a character from Avatar? No. Wow. Silence. Crickets. Wow. 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 The, the blue guy, thank you. What's his name? He should have been Cable, though. The general guy? Absolutely. He should have been Cable. We'll talk about that another time. Oh, who did Avatar? Let's, let's give a shout out to the public. Dark Horse. Dark Horse has been along for a long time. Dark Horse Comics doing Avatar. Um, no offense to Dark Horse for publishing Avatar. Avatar's great, right? Bad Machinery by Ani Press. Looks like a book for millennials. Looks like a book for millennials. Juan and I are not millennials at all. We are not. What are we, Generation Y? Or is it? We're not X, right? We're Which is not millennials. We're not millennials. If you are a millennial, you guys are hypersensitive and stop. Anyways, um, Z2 Comics. I don't even know who they are, but cool. They got the Ballad of Franklin Bonasteel or the Shreveport Kid. Shreveport's in Louisiana? Louisiana, yeah. Has anyone been to Shreveport? I've, I've, actually, I've actually been to Shreveport. Have you really? Yeah, there's a bunch of racists. Oh. Okay, all right. <laughs> Well, I'm not hey, Mexican. Hey, yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. We'll get, we'll there get, is no Cuba, Mexico. No, there's not. There's not. There's not. Uh, this, this is a good one for the ladies. Barbie. Barbie. By uh, Paper Cuts. The Barbie book. <laughs> well, I don't read Barbie. Does your daughter? No, my daughter doesn't read. Are we allowed to talk about your daughter on the internet? Nope. <laughs> All right, this one's, this one's a good one. This one's Battle Cats. Battle Cats by Mad Cave Studios. This, this is actually a local publisher. Yeah, they're really, really cool guys. Really, really and, cool uh, guys. Let's, let's, let's take a minute to talk about Battle Cats. They just dropped this book off to us, right? Yes, they did. So we haven't got a chance to read it yet, but we're definitely going to read it because... I actually read it. Did you read it? Yep. What's it about? Tell us. Battle Cats. <laughs> <laughs> is it like Thundercats? Um... They're, they, they work for uh, for the king, and they're getting sent out on a mission in the first issue, and it's uh, about complications on the way. Okay. Oh, the, the, the art's pretty good. Art's pretty good. Battle Cats, local artists by London King and Gonzalez, local publishers, uh, local Miami publishers. So shout out to Battle Cats. Shout out to uh, Mad Cave Studios. Um, you can find them on uh, Facebook, Mad Cave Studios. So follow them and check out Battle Cats. Support uh, local artists and writers. Okay, here's a good one. Betty and Veronica, Archie Comics. For the ladies? Or for... Anybody that wants to read about Betty and Veronica. Yeah. Archie fans. Archie fans, thank you, thank you. Or if you like Adam Hughes, thank you, thank you, Adam thank Hughes cover. Or Riverdale yeah. fans. Yes. <laughs> our, our, I like Riverdale. Our, our, yeah, our, our, like our, Riverdale. our cinematographer who is our unofficial sidekick, obviously. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's all right. Well, uh, Betty and Veronica by Archie Comics. Blah, blah, blah. Bongo Free For All by Bongo Comics. Simpsons. Simpsons. Um, you can't go wrong with The Simpsons. It's never bad. It's never great. It's pretty bad. It's never bad. Well, the cartoon is bad. The, bad. the cartoon's not bad. It's been around for 38 years. And that's bad? Or. I mean, that says something, I think. It says more about the people that view it. I mean, ev ev everyone copies this show, I think. Yeah, Simpsons is great. Simpsons is great. <laughs> Simpsons is great. I'm just not going to fight about The Simpsons. But, I mean, it's better... I mean, it's better than fucking Family Guy. That's not saying much, man. I mean, I'm just saying. Family Guy is pretty awful. Family Guy, I mean, whatever. Anyways, Bongo. Bongo Free For All by Bongo Comics. 
Simpsons, basically Futurama, all the Bartman, all that fun stuff. Futurama. Oh, what else we got? We got the Boom Studios 2017 Summer Blast. I think that's Lumberjanes on there. Is it Lumberjanes? I'm pretty sure. I, that's a kid book. That's a millennial book too, right? I think so. Does anyone know what Lumberjanes is about? Anybody in the house? Lumberjanes. Rich, don't you read Lumberjanes? No. Are you sure, Batsy? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. All right, well, nobody reads the Lumberjanes. We're sorry, Boom. We, we do sell a few Lumberjanes, though. They're just not, they're just not in the house. Uh, Buffy the High School Years from Dark Horse Comics. Buffy, I'm not a Buffy fan. This is rough, man. We need to get to some that I know about because I I know we're, we're <laughs> I'm flailing in the wind here. We're, we're, I know it's like we're, we're, uh, Buffy kills vampires. Buffy this. kills. I I saw the the movie with Luke Perry and that's about it. I didn't see the Michelle Michelle Gellar crap. Jo Josh Whedon, he he's he's part of it. We know him. We like him, but he has nothing to do with. He's this. doing Batgirl. He's doing Batgirl and Nightwing. He's not doing Nightwing. He's doing Nightwing. He, when did they say that? Do we have a fact, check, fact checker? No, not Rich! Yet. No! no. Alright, Chapter House. Cap Captain Canuck. Captain Canuck. I actually, I, I think this is a good book. I've read a couple issues of it. It's a total Captain America ripoff to, to make can Canadians feel equal to Captain America. But well, we all know Canadians are not equal to Americans. <laughs> but... <laughs> but but anyways, Captain Connect. He's got a cool costume. Although he kind of looks like who's that? Who's that dude from uh, Alpha Flight? Uh, the the leader from from Vindicator. Alpha. Vindicator. Vindicator. His costume kind of rips off Vindicator from Marvel. Uh, for Alpha Flight's a Canadian. That that was Greg Kirkpatrick um, chiming in there, giving us Vindicator. Thank you, Greg Kirkpatrick. Yep. Uh, but Cap Captain Canuck by Chapter House is actually a really pretty good book. You should check it out. Not bad at all. But, <laughs> Catalyst Prime by Lion Forge. Catalyst Prime by Lion Forge. I don't know what Catalyst Prime is, but I know Lion Forge is doing some cool stuff. They, they're doing a Voltron book. If you guys like Voltron, um, that's it. Catalyst Prime, blah blah. <laughs> Colorful monsters. I, I don't even want to talk about this. There's a hippo on the cover. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Something. DC Superhero Girls. Right? Does your daughter like this? I just talked about your daughter again. <laughs> she doesn't read. She doesn't read. She's illiterate. No, no, no. She, reads, she doesn't read comics. Oh, okay. So, okay, I got you. Anyways. D D no, she, his daughter is great. Anyways. DC Superhero Girls here. This is to cater towards the, the children. The lady children. Because the little boys aren't going to like this crap. You never know. I mean, they probably... You can't really say that, though. I don't know. Whatever. DC Superhero Girls. For little girls or little boys. Yeah. Um, help the CBLDF, that stands for Comic Book Legal Defense, Fund. Legal Defense Fund. Thank you. Thank you, Rich, over there. Yeah. Rich. Um, defend Comics. Yeah, it was a really cool... Um, it used to be a relevant organization. Yeah. Descendants. I saw this movie, and it was actually good. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. My daughter loves it. I, I like it, too. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I've seen it. I saw it with a couple young young folks. And uh, as Obama would say, folks. Sorry, I had to go there for you. Anyways, Descendants and uh, and the, they they love the music, but but I actually thought that was a fun movie. You know, um, you know, campy for the kids, of course. But you know, no, it was good. Yeah, they got a part two coming out for all you kids out there. Part two, Descendants two, which is going to make gobs of money, um, or advertising dollars at least. But check it out, Doctor Who. It's about a dude in a phone booth. I've, I've, I actually know nothing about Doctor Who. I'm, I'm ashamed to say. Does anybody in the house know anything about Doctor Who? You do? Come here, man. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's all right. You, you, are you, are you, is he allowed to be on the, on the internet? That's his mother. His mother said, yeah, come on over. Come, come, come talk to us. Anyway, you can stand in between us. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a cool shirt. That's Darth Vader. Tell us, here. Talk, talk in the mic. Are you shy? No, you're not. Because you're, you're here. Talk in the mic. What's your name? Lazaro. Lazaro. So what can you what can you tell the internet or me because I don't know about Doctor Who? What is Doctor Who? Um, Doctor Who is a time lord that he when he dies he has 13, 12 lives, but um, the time lords from his planet give him an extra life to become the 13th Doctor. Okay, so basically he time travels and he's got 13 lives. Yes. So he's like a time traveling cat, basically. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to confuse you, Lazaro. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they, 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 one, a nice, hand, nice round of applause for Lazaro, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 
for explaining Doctor Who. I love time travel, so I'm going to have to check out Doctor Who, apparently. Doctor Who by um, Titan Comics. Titan, I think they're British publishers, right? Yes, they are. British publishers. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super. All right, this is another thing I know nothing about. Okay, because I just I'm not in I'm not into this shit, man. I'm not. It, what's the difference between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z? Anyone? Anyone? No. Does anybody like Dragon Ball? Yeah. The I, movie I, was I, I saw you. I saw you. Oh, you're doing it for him? Okay. Well, people like Dragon Ball because they buy a ton of it here, so it must be good. I don't know. Whatever. We'll have to check that out. Can we get to some good books? Just skip them. Fre I'm sorry, I totally, I totally just ripped on Dragon Ball, I'm sorry. Um, Boom Studios, fresh off the boat. Based on a TV show. It's not about, are you going to talk in the mic? This better not be about Cubans. No, no it's, yeah. it's about the Asian TV show. The Asian TV show? Yeah, it's like on ABC, I think, or something like that. Is, it, is, that, is that for real? This is an yeah. Asian TV show called Fresh Off oh, the Boat. Not Asian, like it's local, and like it's on CBS. It's about an Asian family that came fresh off the boat. About an Asian family that gets fresh off the boat, and for and they look like superheroes. Yeah. Slash well, cowboy. in the show. They're regular people in the show. Oh, they're regular people in the show, but in the comic book, they, they, they turn them into comic people. So, Boom Studios... Fresh off the boat, about an Asian family fresh off the boat. Okay, cool. Excellent. Grim Fairy Tales by Xenoscope. This this is basically softcore porn, I think. The covers. The inside, too. No, the inside is basically like it's once upon a time. No, this is for like... This it's is once upon a time. This is for like the 11-year-old that, that, that isn't old enough to get the Playboy yet, I think. Because the story, the story isn't that great, right? Well... I only read through like issue 24, and at that time it was like once upon a time. I mean, the concept is cool. They talk about like. It's fairy tales and they talk about setting. fairy tales, but I think they're more focused on the boobs than they are anything else. I couldn't tell you. I read the first 24 issues and you not couldn't, at all. You couldn't tell me? No. Do you have eyes? Yeah. But that's the cover. That's not what the story is. Okay. I'm just telling you what the artist like. Look at you. Why are you being so nice right now? Because we're on the internet? Um, all, right, all right, here's something you can talk about. All new Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> the movie was terrible. Hey, all new Guardians of the Galaxy. Just, just so in case you guys have been hiding under a rock, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two came out in theaters, and Marvel, in conjunction with the movie, has released a gazillion comic books to try to just capitalize on it. So they have they have a main title called All New Guardians of the Galaxy, and then they have like three mini series. And I haven't read any of them yet. The comic is actually pretty good. At least it was under Brian Ma Michael Bendis. They have a new reader, uh, writer now. I don't know um, how it's going to be now. But but let's take a quick moment to just talk about the movie. Has, has everyone in here seen the movie? No. No. Okay. Well, look, we're in a full house right now. So since we're in a full house, we're not going to say any spoilers. Can we do this without spoilers? We can. can. Can we talk about the movie and we promise not to spoil it? No. I'm not talking to you. All right, all right, all right. We're going to talk about it briefly. We'll talk. We'll, we'll, we'll do a more in-depth thing later on when when the room is a little more empty. Anyway, so go on. What did you think of the movie? I thought the movie was awful. I consider it bottom five of uh, Marvel movies. Bottom five Marvel movies. Absolutely. Ever. Is there a reason why you could tell the world without spoiling it? Well, I thought the villain was terrible. The villain, okay. Let's not say who the villain was. They had about like seven moments, Field of Dreams moments, which were just childish. <laughs> but doesn't Field of Dreams make you cry? But because it's not childish. Okay. It's, it's, I mean, I think 11 year old people could identify with the emotional response of the characters. Okay. And that's why I hated it. That's why you hated it. I think Drax was, was terrible. Is there anything else you could say without spoiling? Yeah, me? anything that you guys liked about the first movie, if you liked it, like the music, the jokes, they take that, and that's all they do. I liked the movie. I thought I thought the movie was entertaining. It was fun. Uh, there were there were it, it was it was there were definitely good jokes in it. I thought. Um, Notice how you said jokes. That's it. I mean, that's what the it, it, it's a space opera. That's funny, isn't that what what made it great? There was way more. I mean, the characters were. At least a little complicated in the first one. What was comp? What I mean, aside from the fact that you're dealing I mean, with a tree Drax, and, and, now, and a now raccoon. Drax, Drax is just a joke. Like he didn't lose his family. We tell you, you talked about that briefly. Right? Spoilers. It, it's terrible. Yeah. Please just lower your expectations, and you might like it. I I, I would I would I, I mean it was better than Iron Man three. And that, that's 
all from the bottom five, so that's not saying much. It was better than than um, than Age of Ultron. Bottom five. It was better than well, what up? It was better than Thor two. Well, all the Thor movies have been terrible. Speaking of the new Thor, the new Thor movie, I think looks like shit. I think it looks great. No, I think it looks horrible. It's going to be fantastic. No, no, it looks like a ripoff of Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> no, it looks like a ripoff of Lethal Weapon, and that's awesome. <laughs> No, it looks like they're trying to capitalize on Guardians of the Tell jokes. It's a buddy cop movie. Put, I, I think it's lame. Did you like Leaf a Weapon? I did. You're going to like Thor. We're showing our age. <laughs> Anyways, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 no. People know about Leaf a Weapon, right? You know Leaf a Weapon? It, wait, is there anyone here under 25 in the house? Well, there's also a TV show now for Leaf a Weapon, so people would know. You. Oh, there is a TV show. You, sir. In the glasses. Green shirt. Blue. Yeah, you. How old are you? 27? No. How old are you? Is anyone under 25? Gears of War. 24. Have you heard of Lethal Weapon? Yes. It's a good... We're not talking about Casablanca. We're at a comic shop, though. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, Guardians of the Galaxy was good. I liked it. He didn't like it. We'll talk more about it when there's not anyone here so we can get more in detail of how it was either great or bad. Um, Guy D Del D Delisle Hostage... By drawing quarterly. It's about a guy held hostage. Yeah, he's chained to, looks like a heater. Cool. Um, Hilda's Back by Nobro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Alright, here's one. I Hate Image. Does, has anyone have you read I Hate Fairland? Alright, so this is based on I Hate Fairland. It's yeah. got a young comic, and except this time she's traveling through. The world of image going and interacting with different image characters, including Spawn and uh, characters from Saga. Is it good? Well, I haven't read it yet, but I'm a, I, I, I hate Fairyland's really good. Saga is excellent. So. And Scotty, he writes and draws. Actually, movies. he does write, and he's really, really good. He actually did a Rocket Raccoon, I believe, and he did Rocket and Groot as well for Marvel. Okay. And it was actually surprisingly very funny. He's actually a really good writer. Right. He does more than baby covers. Yep. I hate Image by Image Comics. One of Juan's favorite publishers. The End Call by Rated Mature or Humanoids. I don't know. Ra humanoids. Humanoids. I don't know what this is, but it, it, it looks weird. Kaiser Sose. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, really? Really? You guys know what Usual Suspects is? Yes. Yeah. 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 Usual Suspects. Anyone want, like that movie? Anyone? No? No, no, no spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Greg Kirkpatrick likes Usual Suspects. Kaiser Sose, Scorched Earth. Okay, good. Is this a prequel or after the movie? Do we know? Does I anyone just saw know? it today. Has anyone read the Kaiser Sose book? No. I'm interested, though. I'm interested. Watching your feedback back there, sweetheart. Yeah. All right. Kid Savage by... Uh, this is by Image, too. Do you know about this? No. I, I don't know shit about Image. I don't read Image at all. That's a new book. I haven't read it. Okay. Kid Savage by Image Comics. Lady Mechanica. I know a lot of people up at the Pembroke Park store. Lady, Lady Mechanica. We're just reading comic books. We'll you're supposed to talk about it. I don't know anything about these books. I don't know either. But, I mean, this Lady is a, Mechanica looks like a steampunk book. It's a total steampunk book. There's a lot of people at our Pembroke Pine store that like actually subscribe to this. I mean, I don't. I, mean, I think it's cool, but it's not great. Yeah, the art's really good though. That's why they like it. So if you're really in the art, get Lady Mechanica. I have no idea what it's about, but it's, uh, it's steampunk ladies and stuff like that. <laughs> the Looking Glass Wars Crossfire by... It doesn't even say who that's about. <laughs> I mean... All right, this is Loud House. Some kids were loud about wanting this book. What is this? It's a children's show, right? Yeah, on Nickelodeon. On Nickelodeon. Is it good? It looks like Family Circus, right? The way it's drawn? Take care, enjoy. It is similar. It's similar family. Do you know who's Family Circus? I don't watch Family. I don't know what Family Circus is. It's a cartoon strip from the Sunday Funnies. The, fa the Family Circus. People still get newspapers. <laughs> Loud House, not us. Malika, Warrior Queen from Something Studios. We, you know, we're not going to carry most of these books in our store. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. We're not, if, unless you want to come, no offense to you, Malika. If you Warrior like these Queen. books, please let us know that please you want to subscribe know, to them so, so, so we can, can order subscribe to them more because we're not, they, they won't be on the shelves regularly. Miraculous, this is another kid's show, right? Yeah, it looks like a ladybug thing and a cat thing. 
Fe uh, featuring Kid Sherlock and Two Etika. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm not. I'm like Mr. Obvious. That's all I'm doing here, really. Yeah, that's great. Ladybug. There's a lot of kids' books, actually. I don't there know are a lot of kids' books. Monster High, you know? High School for Monsters. I know. This, this has been around for a while, actually. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Stop, seriously. All right, Monster High. Monster. <laughs> does your daughter like this? Yeah, she actually really does like it. Oh, good. You talked about your but, daughter. You know, it's like, the, I think it's like a Descendants thing. It is. A, you're absolutely right. It's a Descendants thing. It's like Dracula's daughter. Although they're all girls. Are there boys in Monster High? Yeah, yeah, there's boys. So there's like a wolf, wolf boy? I haven't read it. <laughs> you don't say. You don't say. Monster High. Uh, but but they, they got famous from their toys, right? The Barbie dolls? Yeah, the, the toys are super popular. At least my, they're popular with my daughter. Yeah. Mon, uh, Monster High. Totally. And Descendants ripped off Monster High because this came first. Oh, you know Disney. Yeah. <laughs> Overstreet Guide to Comics, if you don't know what the Overstreet Guide to Comics is, it's the comic book price guide. There's nothing special here, really. It's just information information about collecting comics. Riverdale. Riverdale, based on the new TV show, Riverdale, which is the... Thank you. Which is the Archie-verse. It's like um, Dawson's Creek for Archie. Dawson's Creek for Archie. Yeah. Is it out? Did it, did it come out? No, yeah, it's already Has out. Has anyone seen Riverdale? Yeah. Do you like Riverdale? Come over here. It's really good. Come here. You won't lose your place in life. We'll, we'll make sure you get back. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can put your... Come on. Come on. Here. Take, go and take Juan's mic because he's just going to sit here anyways. And point out the obvious. And point out the obvious. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, that's fine. What, what's your name? Ashley. Ashley. So t tell us about Riverdale. Is it... Are you familiar with Dawson's Creek? I heard Is it like Dawson's Creek? <laughs> what's so cool about Riverdale? I mean, there's... Uh, don't be shy. There's so many plot twists that come with it. Like, um, there's one more episode left until the season finale. Yeah. And we just found out who, you know, killed Jason Blossom. Wait, so. wait, wait, wait. Are you giving spoilers out? No, no, no. I can't do that. No, yeah, don't do that at all. Okay, so we should check out Riverdale. No, it's pretty awesome. Uh, did you get the comic for Free Comic Day? No, I was looking for it, actually. Oh, well, the free comics are there. Rich, do we have Riverdale? Yes, we still have some. We still have Riverdale for you. Awesome. All right, Ashley, thank you so much. Thank you. Did you give her that one? Oh, yeah, you want this one? Yeah, I got it. It's cool. Yeah. We, we don't want it. <laughs> thank you, Ashley. Rick and Morty. Back to the, back to the future ripoff, right? Yes. Completely. No, I mean, I am a, I'm a, I'm a, a huge... A lot of people recommend it. I, I hear it's good. It does well. Everyone wants to buy Rick and Morty, but I also heard it's a Back to the Future ripoff. Yes. That, that's all you have to say. Huh? What is it? A Back to the Future ripoff. So, it is... I think this kid tries to do good things, and all he does is mess everything up, and then the other one has to chase him around. Yeah. And fix everything. Is there time travel? A lot of it. Who's... Well, no. It's not, it's, has, why, who's seen this? The Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> this is great. I know. Hey. You know what else is great? Right outside the window. Yep. Anyways. <laughs> Agreed. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> For the viewers in the audience, you'd have to be here to see what we're talking about. <laughs> Anyways. I'm just going to look at her while you talk to me. So just tell, tell me, tell us about Rick and Morty while I look totally past you and at something else. All right, so Rick and Morty is uh, basically like Back to the Future in a sense. Instead of just traveling through time, though, they're traveling through universes. Okay. So basically, he'll time jump to another world where it's different kind of uh, space aliens or whatever. Is it a TV like show? Yeah, it's on a, uh, it's on a Adult Swim show. Oh, it's, a, it's called Cartoon Network. Yeah. Okay. So they yeah. so they, they they travel through the multiverse. Yeah. Um, so it's Rick, like it's like if Back to the Future had like four more sequels and Doc figured out how to go from yeah. different realities. And it. was introduced to full alcoholism. Oh, so is Morty Doc? Uh, no, Rick is more Doc. Morty, uh, Morty's more Morty. Yeah. Really? Wait, wait. So Marty, Morty is Marty. Yeah. See, clear ripoff. Morty yeah. is Marty. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. But Rick is Doc, and he's yeah. a, he's a drunk. Basically. Yes. But but he's really smart and invented interdimensional travel and openly shoves tree seeds up his Morty's ass. Op what? <laughs> openly shoves tree seeds up Morty's tree ass. Tree seeds. Just to help him escape and 
have something. What do you mean escape? Did, what, did the trees grow on his they, ass? Yeah. No, they grew on another planet, so he went to there and stole them from the planet, and to get through customs, he shoved them up his ass. Does that sound good to you guys? Really? <laughs> the episode was fantastic. <laughs> it was great. You know what else is fantastic? <laughs> they're, they're just bouncing. What can I say? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, you know, all right, anyways. Um, right. Give your name for everyone in the oh, listening. Randall. Right? I'm Randall. Yeah, Randall. I mean, if you guys come to the store, you probably see me all the time. Yeah, Randall is a fixture at the store here. Yeah, pretty much. Um, um, he, he's he's a he, uh, unofficial sidekick to Rich and Juan. Right? Basically, fair yes. enough to say? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, and, and obviously he knows a lot about Rick and Morty and su- shoving tree seeds up asses, right? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I mean, that's what you said. I'm just quoting No, you, no, dude. I'm good. I'm good. Relax. Yeah, that's right, what I'm doing with that. Keeps... Okay, here's a good one. I really want to see Rick and Morty now. <laughs> here's a good one. Secret Empire. All right. This is, this is good shit right here. Captain America's a Nazi. All right, Captain. Uh, if you don't know, this is Marvel's big event this summer. Um, Captain America, poster child for the, uh, for America. Uh, he is actually an agent of Hydra, and he has been training to be Hydra like forever. And now he's a uh, he's going to come out of the closet basically and try to take over the world. Dude, is this how you're gonna be? Really? What are you talking? What, what do you want to say? I don't know. Like, all right. So, do, do you want to explain how he, uh, why he's a Nazi now? No, he's not a Nazi. He's an agent of Hydra. It has nothing to do with the Nazis. All right, Hydra's not a Nazi. Go on, go on. Tell, well, tell, tell it's the Red word. Skull. Red Skull. Yes. He's a cosmic cube. But let's be real. Listen, even though Red Skull is known as a Nazi, Marvel to be, you know, because they're Disney now, they've they've kind of done away with the Nazi end of it, and it's just Hydra why? stuff now. I don't know. That's what they did. Why they do away with Nazis? Because they don't talk about we it. We can't anymore. say that word anymore. I don't know. I'm, I'm not Disney. I'm just saying. I mean, if you saw the Captain America movie, if you read the books now, they just don't. They don't reference that era like that anymore. It's it's just Hydra, now. You know? It's a conspiracy. I I mean, whatever it is, it's you know. I guess they. There's people that say the Holocaust know, never happened. Uh, we're not. We're not. <laughs> no, it's insane. I, I, you know. <laughs> hey. Who? The Holocaust did happen and Red Skull took part of it because it's a Nazi and now Captain America is a Nazi. And apparently Magneto. What? <laughs> He's Jewish. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't, I can't, I don't know why Marvel's writing that, but yes. Anyway, I mean, it's an interesting twist, right? I mean, the, the ultimate villain. Yeah, that a Jew is a Nazi? I mean, I mean, for, <laughs> that means Magneto really is a piece of shit then, right? Yeah. Like, total self-centered, doesn't care. About it anything. does not make any sense, it, honestly. It, it doesn't. It totally Marvel's goes... writing has been just not good. But Mar- this is good. Marvel's writing has been kind of subpar, but Secret Empire and the Captain America lead-up into this has been really good. Credit to the guys. I think it, Nick Spencer... I think Spencer is the one Nick Spencer's writing, writing Secret Empire. Is Nick Spencer writing Cap also? Yes, he's writing He is. Thank you. Yeah. You're, you're really into this. You know about Cap? Oh, you got shy all of a sudden. It's cool. All right. <laughs> it's all right. Nick Spencer's a Nick, super liberal. Nick, Nick Spencer. Nick Spencer's doing great things over at Marvel. Um, you know, because Bendis is on a hiatus apparently. But uh, yeah, check out Secret Empire. It's free today. Uh, for this, I don't. I don't think it's the actual issue. It's like just a preview, right? No, it, actually, I think it, it takes place between issue zero and issue one. Does it? Yeah. It also features. Does it feature it in here for a new Spider-Man book? Peter Parker Spider-Man. I don't know that one. Spider-Man. It, it is original content, and so if you can pick it up, pick it up because it is going to be important to the storyline. Yeah, and um, and it's original. You're not going to find any anywhere else. Yeah, and I mean, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't read the indie books, but I read all the DC and Marvel books, and this is this is solid stuff. Check it. it it's gonna it's gonna go now. Peter Parker Spider Man. I can't. This is probably gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie. It seems like I can't be Spider Man. I'm done with Spider Man. Amazing Spider Man is great. Yeah, I mean, it's Spider Man, man. They're all done, man. No, Amazing Spider-Man is good. What's it about? I mean, well, they just finished another clone story, but it was still good. Oh, another clone story, and now Peter Parker is going to be, you know, the only, thing bad about, the, the, only, the only thing bad about Spider-Man right now is that, like, he's the new Tony Stark of the Marvel Universe. Like, he's, like, the, the tech guru, and he, like, invents everything. I thought Riri was. No, no, Riri, I, Riri don't even get... Well, no, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> is Tony Stark dead? Isn't he dead? Tony Stark, he's, like, on a... He's, like... 
He's, he's he's dead. No, no, he's like in like a hibernation state dead. right now. Uh, no, no one dies. Nobody dies in comic books. But yeah, Secret Empire. Cap is bad right now. Um, it's it's all BS. We know when it, they'll bring him back because nothing stays like this forever. Except Jean Grey is still dead, and Wolverine's still dead. We'll see how long that lasts. You were one of those. Is a Jean Grey book now? Yeah, but it's Jean Grey from the past. Terrible. It is terrible. Although if you're a millennial, you'll probably love it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we're really shitting on the millennials. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, millennials. Really, I am. I am. I am. You're a your core part of our business. Please don't leave because we offended you. Anyways, Spill Night. Spill Night by, by whatever the hell this is. SpongeBob. SpongeBob has been around for a while. SpongeBob is actually really funny. You like SpongeBob? You like... I actually do. My son... You're talking My about son the show, though. You're not talking about the book. Oh, no. The book's really funny, too. The book's good? Yeah, it's actually really good. Still? Yes. Have you seen the show? Do you like the show? Do you like the book? I, I didn't. It translates easily. I didn't watch. I didn't watch the show. Uh, let's do this. Did I miss out? I missed out, Ashley. Ashley said I missed out. Ashley. Ashley is our uh, our Riverdale guru here at Corker Comics, and she apparently she knows a lot about SpongeBob too. How old are you, Ashley? Twenty. She's a millen. Are you? You're not even. No, she's not millen. What is? What is? What's after millennial? Post millennial. Post millennial. Uh, Okay, all right. Anyway, SpongeBob is... I don't know, whatever. I'm sorry. This is my shit right here. Star Trek The Next Generation. I'm all about Star Trek The Next Generation. I think... I think Star... Ready? Ready? You're, this whole room is going to kill me. I think Star Trek is better than Star Wars. Oh, shoot, Susie. Oh, Wow. Well, to be honest, and to be fair, you know, Star Trek's really original and Star Wars just ripped off the Bible. I... Yeah. Look, look, the place got quiet. The place got quiet. Everyone's like, no! They're like, oh! No, you know, uh, it's it's you know Star Wars, like, to be honest, um... Yeah. You know, Jimmy Jones. It's a lot more exciting. I mean, Star Trek's really boring. It's supposed to be boring. I, I and, and Star Wars is really cool because they got everyone, everyone here probably, they got them all believing that, you know, the rebels are good and the Empire is bad, right? When, you know, the rebels are ISIS. <laughs> Why? Well, you know, they go, they kidnap children, they indoctrinate them to go and, and destroy families that are working on Death Stars and it's terrible. That's why Luke is going to kill them all, and that's why it's the last Jedi. Because he realized, he's like, oh my god, I work for terrorists. <laughs> so, wait, wait, just so I'm clear. In your opinion, the Jedi Order is... They're yes, terrorists. Yes, they kidnap... They're terrorists. ...indoctrinate children to go and kill people because they say so. And the Empire is good. The Empire is good. They're misunderstood. Okay, so, what's that... Uh, now, that versus Star Trek... It's, it's way better. Star Trek's really boring. Star Trek? But this might be good. It looks like a little homoerotic. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks no, good. no, like, look at this. Why doesn't he have Listen, it, it, look, it, it does look gay. That's okay. Nothing no, 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 no,
by Antarctic Press. That's obviously cool. trying to do some Star Wars ripoff thing. Uh, is, is that what it is? I mean, look at having a little droid there. Oh, I didn't even notice the droid. I saw the word steam and I thought it was like some steampunk stuff. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Uh, steam Wars by Antarctic Press. This one's good. Street Fighter. Sure. <laughs> I mean, the book's probably like whatever. It's great for people that like the anime stuff, but street, you, you can't go wrong with Street Fighter. Although, I think Mortal Kombat's better than Street Fighter. Yes. As a yep. game? Yep. Okay, good, good. Oh, thank you. Some be, people want to kick my ass when I say that sometimes. Yep. You know, but, so, so, I mean, don't give it. Look, Street Fighter, innovator. Definitely innovator in the video game, fighting game business. But Mortal Kombat just took over, I think. I don't like fighting games, man. I like Marvel vs. Capcom, that's it. I mean, that's a good game. Well, you know, but I guess so I guess I side with Street Fighter then, since it's Capcom. You would side with Street Fighter over, over Mortal Kombat? Yeah, Mortal Kombat's a little overrated. Overrated? Why? They, so they rip someone's heart out as a fatality, okay. Just to care, the graphics are better, clearly. I don't think so. <laughs> are, 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 you, are, you just, are you just fighting me just to... Just, just... Let's go to Ninja Turtles. I know about Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Ninja Turtles. This is about Ninja Turtles. By IDW. And actually, the, the book's been pretty good, I heard lately. Yeah. I don't read Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> is anyone reading Ninja Turtles currently? Anyone reading Ninja Turtles at all? It's good? It's good. Do you read it? Yes. Come here. Do you mind? Who reads it? I have a question. Who reads it? I heard this the, guy does, the guy the, with the Boba Fett the, shirt. The ooze that turns the turtles into here, turtles here, you is the sit, same sit, ooze sit. that blinded sit, Daredevil. Sit. Right here, right here. Right here. You can take my mic. Because oh, right? Juan's going to host it. Ask his name. Oh, my name is also Juan. So, yeah. Juan. Uh, it's Juan squared, I guess. Juan squared. <laughs> no, it's Juan cubed. Sorry, I just made a fat joke. Oh. Uh, he gets to, you know, white privilege. <laughs> Okay, so so what do you what do you want to know about the turtles book? Don't talk to me, oh, talk to oh, him. Oh, well, I mean, I'm making an the ooze, the I'm ooze is oh, it's from the Utrams. No, no, but I'm talking about that's the same ooze that blinded Daredevil. Yes, because it was the first issue was basically a tribute slash parody to like you know Frank Miller's Daredevil and all that stuff. Holy shit. Talk in the mic. Holy shit! <laughs> no, no, because I just thought about the foot, the hands. Yeah, oh, the okay, hand, okay, and okay, it, right, it's right. Splinter and Matt Murdock's. Trainer was oh, stick. Stick. So oh it was, God. yeah. So it did you was, guys know this? You know? Yeah. yeah. So, All right, so they basically did it. I mean, uh, Peter Lard and Kevin East. I'm, obviously, I'm, I'm really into turtles. Um, they, he just did a sketch as a joke, and then they're like, "Well, just let, let's make a comic book about it." Who is Robot? That is the Fugitoid. Uh, he is from Ultron. And they wanted him to create uh, a type of super weapon so that they could colonize Earth and then he warned the turtles. And, uh, is, is the story good? Yes, I would. Uh, the thing that's good about the comic book, as opposed to like the recent movies that came out, something like that, is that um, it takes all the good elements from the cartoon, the live action movies, the old kind of grim and gritty comic books and combines it in a way that works in the narrative. So you have Bebop and Rocksteady, but like uh, instead of them being super silly and incompetent, uh, Rocksteady gets a hammer and smashes Donatello's shell and leaves him basically... Is that where they killed Donatello? Yes, that was a... Uh, Kill. Sort of. They didn't. Uh, he he got like a, a robotic shell or something like that. Oh, well, Juan recommends Ninja Turtles. Yes, I do. I this do. This one, not me. Not me. All right, thanks. Juan. No, no problem. Man. Wait, 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 wait. I I didn't know this theory. So wait, wait. Ninja Turtles is a ripoff of Daredevil. Yes. Well, like not a ripoff, but an homage. It, I mean, it sounded like a ripoff, basically. Well, an homage. Basically, we'll do it. <laughs> homage. Okay. I, mean, I I I mean, I like Ninja Turtles better than Daredevil. No? What Daredevil? I mean, whoever said ooze probably I mean, talked about the Netflix Malar show. Malar had a good but, run. I mean, I mean, I mean, so did Wade, but whatever. But but uh, but I, I don't know. I, I grew up with the Ninja Turtles. You have to, you know. Yeah, but if you read it, does it hold up still? Can you go back to that? Like, are you talking about the cartoon? Uh, uh, according to Juan, the, it holds Listen, up. Listen, that, and we're talking that about... video game was unnecessarily hard. What game? That fucking... The, the... <laughs> The Nintendo game. Hi, kids. Okay, you know yeah. the Nintendo game where you have to swim yeah. underwater and there's all like landmines everywhere? Wait, wait. Unnecessary. We talk about Nintendo or Super Nintendo? The Nintendo one. Is it? Is the it, second is level. It, is you're it, underwater, there's little mines, and you're timed. 
See, I couldn't even. I, the first one was. I couldn't even. I couldn't even play the first one. Oh, okay. I was too hard. I was bad. I was bad. The first Your one. Your kids got it good. You got respawns and auto saves. <laughs> we had no saves at all. No saves. Yeah. So Juan, Juan, our good friend Juan, not this one, uh, the other one, recommends Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He said the book is good. He he gave a he gave a pretty good explanation, right? Yep. A little. Yeah. yeah. Text. Pat. Pat. To, what's that? Next. Say? What's that? Next. <laughs> Sorry, Tex. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's good. The Tick. Come on. If you don't know, if if you, if you guys don't know about the Tick, you need to check out the Tick. The Tick is one of the best cartoons new, new show ever. ever, 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 ever. Even though I mean, it, it's kind of, they rip off like comic books. They, they it, it's a satire of comic book characters, but it is hands down amazing. You, uh, we had the Tick playing in the Pine Store the other day. It's just it's super. Super cutting edge for the time, I thought. Can I smoke a cigarette? No, you can't smoke a cigarette. They got a new show on Amazon. They do, thank you, thank you. That's our cinematographer. Thanks, Randall. Right there. So yeah. there's a new show on Amazon. Yeah. There's a new show. Uh, uh, really to an another unofficial sponsor, Amazon. Thank you for uh, putting a live action tick together. That This is their second attempt at a tick show. Really, dude? And uh, Patrick Warburton is actually the one funding it. Like he's helping and funding it. Who is that? The original Tick in the first show. The oh, first really? Show. Okay. Well, there you go. The original guy that played the Tick is fun producing, we'll just say producing, the new Tick show. Rock and roll. Tick, check it out. Time Shifters from Graphic Spotlight. It's a time time travel one, so, you know, could be good. There's a lot of kids' books this year. Yeah, a lot of kids' books. Underdog. Um, this is a kid's book, but this is like old school, like super old school, like my parents' old school. Is the book dated? Open it. I mean, it's brand new. Oh, it might be dated. No, because maybe they're trying to do the throwback to the old. I mean, it, it looks... It looks pretty dated. Anyways, Underdog. I'm not a big fan, actually. It's a flying dog. I, and I know about this, <laughs> but whatever. Anyways, Underdog. Wonder Woman. Okay, this is just a reprint. Reprint of Wonder Woman number one from Rebirth. Listen, Wonder Woman is a solid book in DC. It really is. It's like e easily in the top five books that DC is publishing right now. Um, it's a little confusing if you never have read books or, or whatever because every other issue is the story, so it alternates back and forth. Greg Rucker's writing, right? Rich? Yeah, Rucker. Greg, Greg Rucker. Greg Rucker is writing it. Uh, Greg Rucker from Lazarus. He did a run on Batman for a long time. He did Wolverine, didn't he? Did he do Wolverine? I believe so. Rich, did, Rich, you're a fact checker. Did he do Wolverine too? Greg Rucker? Greg Rucker did. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't know? Whatever. Here's the thing. You know that... Did, when were you aware that DC stopped doing original material for Free Comic Book Day? They they, they haven't done original material in a while. Why? I don't know why. Because they're DC and they can do whatever they want. Yeah, but so can Marvel. Marvel's giving us original stuff. I mean, are you hate? Are you really hating on DC right now? Because DC is like ten times better than Marvel right now. No, I'm just saying that they don't release original stuff. They don't. They don't. This is a reprint of Wonder Woman Rebirth number one. The story is awesome. Um, it goes. There's there's two storylines that's been going on. One is her origin story. It's like a year one, and then the other one is a uh, is uh, like it was like the, the like Cheetah was involved in it. Um, I forget what happened to her. You were like all over. You what's going on? She like, really like Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman's good though, right? What's your name? Sam. Okay, so so you read Wonder Woman? You haven't read, but but it's good, right? Even though you gave up at issue five, and they're on issue like eighteen now. It's cool. Sam, right there, gave up on five. It says it's good. It is good though. I'm I'm caught up. Hey, what's up, Nero? Greg Rucka did uh, work on Wolverine. <laughs> Greg Rucka did. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The Marvel Knights Wolverine. Thank you. Randall is a dude. You, you are a new. Oh, well, he works for ESPN. You're, you're like. You're, does, does he really? Yeah, he yeah. works for ESPN. He Wait, you, radio you, for ESPN. you didn't get fired like last week or two weeks ago? No. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, he wasn't. You know, one of the. I'm not top tier. Yeah. Top -tier They're doing a wipe of top tier stuff. Did you know people that got fired from yes. ESPN? Everyone knows people that got fired. Yeah, but no. But did you know no people? Yeah. Okay. That's Randall, ladies and gentlemen. Who also knows about? Why do you think all these people got Rick fired from ESPN? <laughs> they're saying it's because ESPN has gotten like way liberal, so they're losing a lot of viewership over it. We are not going to get into this discussion here right now. Maybe on another topic. But there's too many people. World's greatest cartoonist. Oh, that's my opinion, by the way, guys. It has yeah. nothing to do with uh, our boy. 
Exo Manowar, listen, listen. I don't want to get him fired. They're firing people at ESPN. I might have just fucked them up. Oh, you might have just. He has a really big subscription. Wow. We don't want to lose Randall. Uh, those are my opinions, got ESPN. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, Exo Manowar. Awesome. Exo Manowar by Valiant Kongs. Listen, Valiant, listen, I'm talking to everybody in the room right now, anybody watching the internet. Valiant is getting not the credit they deserve. They have fabulous writers on every single one every of their books. Every series is really I good. I guarantee you pick up a Valiant book or a trade, you will enjoy it. It is good. The art is good. They are investing money in it. Take the time and take a chance on their books. It is it is very they, good. They're, they're all really, really good. Exo Man of War, specifically, this, the new run, they just started up. They're by issue two, so you can still jump on it. It's excellent. It's, it, it's, it, that's good. Harbinger good. Archer and Armstrong is like a, it, it's a total like Deadpool, tongue-in-cheek kind of vibe to it. Eternal Warrior, Faith, you know, uh, which is what? First plus size hero, right? Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's a female on top of that. So so shout out to Valiant for doing some really groundbreaking stuff and having fabulous writers, fabulous artists. Check it out. Um, seriously, if you need recommendations, you can ask any one of us. Um, our final book is if we didn't go through enough free books for today. Legends of Zelda by uh, Viz Media, who does all the anime stuff. I It, it opens backwards, like... Like other manga. anime, mangas. Manga. Thank you, I said anime. See, that's how much I know about the genre. Manga, it opens backwards. It's in black and white because they couldn't afford color. But that's okay. Um, Legends of Zelda, Twilight Princess. I have no idea if this is a, just a, 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 a version of the oh, game. Have you read that? Is it or, the game Twilight or is it, Princess? Or is it an original story based on the world of Twilight Princess? Uh, it's Zelda. I don't like. Probably a bow and arrow. You want to know what? Maybe I'm just bad at video games, but I don't like get Zelda because I'm not good at it. I just don't want to get Nintendo. I mean, I played I played Zelda one for Game Genie. That's the only way I beat it with the Game Genie. Now I'm really showing. My the age. one with the, with the little swords. No, no. Remember the game the Game Genie? Oh yeah, but for Nintendo. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where's that? Is Ashley still here? Or did she leave? Our our twenty year old post millennial. I think she left. I, would, I bet she didn't even know about Game Genie. No. Sam, you know about Game Genie? You do? Are you lying to me? She's lying. Look. You're totally... Come here. Is that what come Wonder here. Woman was saying? Yeah. Come here. S sit, sit down right here. Sit down. What is Game Genie? You would put your game on it and then put it inside the, co the console and it would help you cheat the game. See? Wow. Awesome. That was awesome. I totally, I totally doubted you. I apologize. Sam, Sam, ladies and gentlemen, I knew all about Game Genie. Nice round of applause Thank you, for Sam. Sam. And I'm sorry for judging you. Very good. Thank you. Okay. You're awesome, Sam. Sam is in line for a nice sketch from Greg Kirkpatrick. Make sure you guys check him out. Greg Kirkpatrick doing sketches all day long. Zelda, Game Genie, Nintendo Entertainment System. Those are our free comic days. It seemed like way more than what I wanted to talk about. I told you. I said this was going to be terrible. I mean, like, I, I mean, 90% of the comics. Well, I hope you enjoyed this podcast of us listing books. It's just, it's you know, it's just a free comic day one. Next time we could list, I don't know, cards. Well, no, the next the next time we're going to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Which was two. terrible. Don't we're gonna, watch it. We're going to get into Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. We are going to tell details. We're going to do spoilers. We're going to Rich, you're gonna watch be totally tonight. uncensored. And just because Rich said no, we're going to tell him something no. that happened in the movie before he goes and sees it tonight. I quit. You will not quit. <laughs> yes, I will. No, he, he, he likes his discount too much. He's not going anywhere. Okay? We'll yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's true, right? So, uh, real quick, uh, my name's Steven. This is Juan from Corker Comics. We got, Juan. We, got, we got Rich here and Susie at the Miami store. We got Dana, Taylor, Tom. And, uh, and, and, and Damien and RJ and Pete over at the Pine store. That's a lot of people at Pines. It takes a lot of people to run that store, right? Versus the Miami store? <laughs> Why is that? Why does the Pine store need more help than the Miami store? Millennials. M millennials. There are no, there's, there's only two millennials. The rest of them are our age or older. That's how bad millennials are. <laughs> well... Okay, uh, I, I got a soft spot for the Pine Store, so I'm not going to tell crap about the Pine Store. Once again, free comic day right here at Corker Comics. Remind me, we're here at 9 o'clock. Pines is open at 9 o'clock as well. The whole store is on sale. Um, we hope you enjoyed us listing books and giving our brief opinion on things. The next time, we're going to get a little more in-depth because we didn't want to offend too many people today. Um, we hope you have a fabulous day. Take care. Bye.